Hello. Uh, today I would like to introduce to you a system that we have built to simulate uh, manufacturing assembly line. Uh, we have a system that represents an AGV rolling around in uh, the assembly line layout which is shown in the path below. Uh, the white and the black path represents the route the AGV has to choose to go from one origin to uh, its destination. Uh, looking here, we can see the bow boat with two wheels, uh, one support wheel and a gripper. Uh, we have battery powered uh, board supplied by Parallax, which is known as Board of Education. Uh, we have a Bluetooth mo module for communication and we have three servo motors, two to run these two wheels and one to run the gripper assembly up front. With the gripper we intend to lift raw materials and transport them uh, so we need to hold uh, the raw materials stiff and firm while we are uh, moving it from one point to the other. Uh, also on the board you can see a sensor layout that has been a linear three sensor layout of QRB114. Uh, these sensors are specifically designed to uh, uh, differentiate a black surface from a white surface and in a digital mode we can actually uh, recognize black as ones and uh, whites as zeros. So based on uh, a logic that we have come up with we are able to drive the QRB114 along the path you can see. Now there are two other QRB114s located on the sides. Uh, these represent uh, uh, the control, automated control of the bow boat along the path. So in there are two modes of operation for this particular uh, bow boat here. Uh, one is a semi-automated mode and a purely automated mode. In a semi-automated -auto mode, uh, we have built a custom GUI in MATLAB to give it uh, continuous inputs to help it make decisions to reach a particular uh, destination. So uh, right now the robot has been placed in a home location. Uh, to your left you can see uh, four stations. We, call, we, we would like to call them the yard. We have raw materials placed on them. Uh, as you can see the path leads directly to each of the raw materials. Uh, one sample raw material as you can see is represented here. Uh, we have two extensions that we can uh, hold using the gripper. It sits on the gripper very smoothly pretty much and due to the center of gravity it will actually uh, come to an equilibrium when we are transporting it. The, this, these will be picked up from uh, the starting point brought to a conveyor system over here which is driven by a microcontroller here uh, which is also supplied by Parallax and this is actually running on a BS2 plat uh, platform. We have a servo motor uh, which drives the conveyor belt. We would we bring the raw materials to its uh, starting point, which is on uh, behind the camera right now, and uh, the conveyor leads it to its final destination. As it moves along, we uh, uh, make the raw materials undergo certain machining processes. Uh, which we represent using the length of time or, or the duration of processing and once it reaches the final destination the bow boat is given information to go pick it up and drop it off in a warehouse over there. As you can see all these surfaces have been set on a, uh, a different uh, plane than the uh, floor. This is to ensure that the uh, gripper can have enough uh, room to operate and move. So uh, that's
that's why we have separate bases for each of them. Now we can take a close look at how the uh, forward motion is uh, accomplished. Like, like I mentioned earlier, we have a Bluetooth module in, uh, on the robot which communicates with the uh, MATLAB uh, GUI using buttons and screen commands. We are able to uh, provide the robot with good enough inputs to drive it to our uh, desired destination.